Okay, this is a block. Here I am trying to demonstrate you how to put calcium hydroxide in the canal. Most of the time we have seen we put calcium hydroxide in the canal and then when we take the radiograph either it is beyond the apex or sometime we find it that it has not reached till the apex. So in the textbook hardly you will find how to put it. So this is the way how I do it. So this is the prepared canal with 2506. The canal is already dried and this is a tube one calcium hydroxide aqueous. So how we can put is like in this case the working length is 18 mm. So what will I do is I will just measure it till 16 mm and then I will put it into the canal. You can see it's 2 mm almost above the apex. Now I will gently press it. While pressing it you will feel like the calcium hydroxide has reached till the apex and then you will just gently pull it back. By that you can see the entire canal is filled with calcium hydroxide. But this is a block where you can see where the calcium hydroxide is going, where it is traveling. In a tooth it is very difficult. So what I do is like I use the same size of spreader or the gutta parka, measure the length 2 mm sort of the working length and then you put it inside and then in a vertical motion just try to compact it and then you remove it and gently again pour just calcium hydroxide above 2 mm the working length and that's all. So again I am repeating in a block you are sure where your calcium hydroxide is traveling but in a tooth you are not sure so you can take a radiograph right in the radiograph you have to see whether the calcium hydroxide has reached to the apex or not whether it is covering the entire canal or not because the main aim of calcium hydroxide is to have its antimicrobial properties 